If you know me, the three years I've been here, you know I, I don't only care about myself, but I also care about making other players around me better. And uh, Royce is a guy that, you know, we've been working ever since we, I met him. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a generational talent and, you know, he's going the right way. And, you know, he takes advice very well. He applies them better than anyone I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, you saw it right there on that home run. Yeah, Royce Lewis has become a Twins legend right before our eyes, even though he's only in a dozen games so far this season. He became the first twin to hit a home run in each game of a doubleheader, first since Nelson Cruz did it in 2020. Lewis now seven homers in his first dozen games of the year. No twin or Washington senator has ever done that. This afternoon between games, Royce was kind enough for a sit-down to share how magical this start to this season has been for him. All right, Royce, just about this team right now and the run you guys are on how has it gotten to be where it is right now man it's, it's a lot of fun you know when you're following your leader and carlos and buck uh, and they're they're hot right now it's fun to watch and uh, it's fun to take part in it when you see them go we go as a team as well and so uh, i think we had you know 59 hits over our last four games that's pretty special uh, we got to keep going all right how have you made this look so easy you're 81 games into your career and you have 23 home runs all the way back to the washington Senators. Nobody has belted that many home runs in their first 81 games. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, thank you for saying that. No, I, I tell you what, it's definitely not easy. This game's very hard. Uh, I just think it's a blessing. You know, uh, I thank Jesus Christ and, and my family for all the hard work they've given me and uh, and the faith that I have in, in, in him. Uh, he always keeps me here, and it's a blessing to be here in the league and uh, living out my dream. How do you keep the moment from not getting too big. Uh, it's not. It, this is all I dreamed about my whole life. So uh, every moment is special. Um, I think every moment's a big moment, whether it's you know 10-0 game and we're winning or losing, or if it's a one-to-one -one game and it's the bottom of the ninth and you're trying to walk it off. I think this game is so special. I, I cherish every moment, and uh, I think that's why it's all big to me. All right, your home runs, especially lately, have gone a long way. Is there something different about the swing? I mean, when you make contact, they go. Wow, well, thank you. Yeah, I, I feel like I no, can no, do No, thank you better. for hitting him. We yeah. appreciate it. Of course. I, I feel like, you know, it'd be nice. I'm not Aaron Judge, so I'm not going to hit it 500 <laughs> feet. And Otani either, same guys. Uh, but, no, I, I just try to do my best, and that's hit a line drive as hard as I can through the wall. Uh, that's my approach, and uh, these tend to just happen to go over. And, you know, I've been blessed enough to have that opportunity, and uh, it's good for my team. It's good for me, and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. All right, game one, Carlos Homers. Then you're coming up next. As he comes, steps on home, he comes over and talks to you. What kind of advice did he, because you obviously went after that first pitch? Yeah, honestly, I, I just saw a ball and hit ball for me, but uh, he was telling me just to stick with the approach. You know, we had a good approach as a team, and uh, he just told me, you know, stick with your approach um, and, and be confident in your abilities because you can get this guy. And um, I think he just gave me the confidence I needed to go after it, and uh, I saw the ball, like I said, saw the ball, hit the ball, and um, I'm always looking for the inside part of the baseball, whether it's a slider, curveball, whatever pitch it is, it doesn't matter. I'm just looking to hit the ball, um, and like I said, hard through the wall. For a superstar like he is to be engaged with everybody in this clubhouse, yeah. I know you haven't been around, obviously, you haven't even played a full major league year, but that's out of the ordinary for somebody of his stature to make sure everybody is involved. How special is what Carlos is doing here? Oh, it's very special. I think, you know, we made a great signing uh, bringing him here. Uh, it was special, uh, especially for me. He was one of the players I looked up to at shortstop, the way he played the game, uh, the way he was a leader in this clubhouse as well. Um, and he's a leader in our clubhouse now, and it's so special to be a part of it. Um, I'm glad I'm able to learn from him, and hopefully one day I can be just like he is uh, for, you know, this team or another team, whatever it may be. I think another one of your heroes is Derek Jeter. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love DJ, and um, I'd love to meet him one day. That'd be cool. All right, so you went to Yankee Stadium, first time in your career there, and you kind of paid homage to him, right? You did his approach with the digging in and yeah. the bill and then yeah. telling the umpire that, you know, I'm not ready yet. Yes. Uh, walk us through that, why that was so important to you. Yeah, I told my parents I was going to do it like the night before. I just said I wanted to, you know, uh, 
mimic his kind of stance as best I could. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect, but it looked as close as it could for me in my eyes from what I watched. And um, it was funny because the umpire kind of stopped me when I put my hand up just because the new rules, we have timeouts now. Back in the day, they didn't have that. So he could do that as a sign of like, hey, give me a second. Now when I look up, I'll be fine. And uh, I tried to do the same thing. But obviously, you know, with the timeout granted, it, it took it didn't take away the moment. I think, honestly, it gave me a chance to get back into my stance for me for the next pitch so I could be ready to hit because uh, we did have a game to play that day. But uh, it was selfishly awesome. A moment. I know because you looked at the umpire like, oh, geez, no, <laughs> that's not what I meant at all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, he was nice about it. It wasn't his fault. Uh, I should have warned him ahead of time, but uh, yeah, it was awesome. What about Derek Jeter makes you look up to him and respect the way he approached this sport? I think the respect that he gained uh, from his peers in the sport and the fans of the game uh, to see, you know, a Yankee go to Boston and Boston fans cheering for him. I mean, that's the ultimate rivalry, and they're cheering for him. So uh, it just tells you something about how the respect that he earned from the game, um, from all the players, coaches, staff. Uh, it was awesome. I love the tip of the cap that he did. I love how he manned shortstop, and I love that his parents, you know, were black and white, and that's what my parents are. And uh, I always told people growing up, it's the best of both worlds, you know, to be able to mix. Uh, be a mixed kid in this life uh, I think everyone is at the end of the day but man it's really special to be uh, that kind of player in person and for me to watch him uh, I want to be like that and he always handled everything off the field with grace and dignity and class and it seems like you really pay attention to that you're very kind to the media thank you for doing this that's number one you're doing this right now in the middle of a doubleheader but it seems like that that message got home to you? Was it your parents or was it watching how Derek approached himself and was never in any problems off the field? Sure. No, I think it's just the person that I was raised to be. You know, my parents, they did a great job. Uh, I can't wait to have kids of my own one day just to do uh, the same, if not a better job. You know, I'm going to try to learn from them and keep uh, using that guidance to raise my kids uh, to be just like uh, me and my fiance, you know, and, and my parents and, and her parents, because I think both sets of parents did a great job, and uh, I'm just blessed to be living it out, and I appreciate you guys thinking I'm so cool and nice. Uh, it feels awesome, so. All right, we got to get you out of here because you got more work to do, but in the field right now you've looked so confident in the plays you make the diving and starting double plays I mean is this from your days in the minor leagues or why are you so confident in your ability to take these chances to stab these balls that are screaming by you at third sure yeah just being an athlete you know I'm just having fun playing baseball like I did when I was 10 years old 9 years old uh, all the way back to when I was 3 years old when you have fun uh, you play your best and that's what I've learned and that's what I go out there and do every day that's why I wear the tie black that's why I wear the arm sleeves uh, you gotta play like you're playing when you're young you gotta have fun because when you feel like it's a job but you don't play at your best and uh, I feel like it gets monotonous and it gets boring and baseball is definitely not boring so I want to keep having fun as much as I can and uh yeah, I do. that's why I dive around. I make all the plays I can. All right. Since this is Father's Day, uh, let us know about your dad. Give us something that we may not have known or what you recall from your father that's made you who you are today. He's the most positive, hardworking person I ever uh, have met. Um, he's always got a smile on his face, whether uh, he's down and out of it, tired, or he's, you know, the best mood of moods. Uh, so I've, that's how I've learned to become the person I am. Uh, I get my hard work ethic from him and my mom. And so from between both of them, uh, I love you guys so much. Uh, happy Father's Day, Dad. And thank you for asking the question. Hey, no problem. We'll make sure he gets a copy of this. Royce, thank you, thank you so much for the time. Royce Lewis, and again, thank him for the time.